In this six part of the network properties, we will treat of a specific distribution, which is uh, the scale-free networks. So the scale-free um, network, which is also a power law distribution, uh, describe an uneven distribution of connection. So some nodes have very high degree of connectivity, we can call them like herbs, while most of the nodes, they have very small degree, very uh, small connectivity. So we call it scale-free because the description of a system does not change as a function of the magnification, the scale used to view the system. In the power law distribution of degree, there is a high connectivity um, but is unlikely to occur more often than predicted by random network. For example, here in the random graph, the five most connected nodes have connected to 27% of all nodes. In the scale-free graph here, the five most connected nodes are connected to 60% to all nodes. This kind of distribution is built by what we call the Yule effect. So the dynamic process of Yule is that richer get, get richer, uh, and this effect continued to explain power law distribution. We call it also preferential attachment. This kind of distribution were already described at Zipf in 1949 with the wrong size rule. Zipf described a balance between two forces. The first one is the agglomeration with a mutual reinforcement between different parts of the, of the system. And uh, a second force uh, is the dispersion, so the concurrencies between the different parts of the system. And these two uh, forces uh, make a balance and create this equilibrium of wrong size, according to Zipf. Also, in, in 1955, Herbert, Herbert Simon um, described the importance of this kind of distribution for communication system and diffusion. This kind of distribution is very uh, popular in many domains. Here we've got three kind of examples. The first one is the actor collaboration graph. So we have the different uh, vertices of this uh, or of this graph of connection. The second one is a World Wide Web, and uh, the third one is a C, is a power grid da data. So they all, um, they all can show some scale-free uh, distribution. So the scale-free power load distribution is defined by the probability P that the vertex uh, in a network interact with k other vertices um, and this uh, function uh, is decay as a power law. The dynamic model which explains the formation of this distribution is the growing number of vertices and the probability is not uniform as a probability that a new vertex would, would link with a vertex i is higher is if i has a large degree. This is what we call preferential attachment. So the probability is proportional to the previous degree of uh, uh, k degree of i and inversely proportional to uh, the degree of all the other nodes. There's a relation between uh, power law and zip flow. Um, so the zip flow or Pareto distribution and power law are synonymous according to Newman. And there's a relation between the lambda of the power law 
and the alpha of the zip flow. So if lambda equal is equal to 2, uh, for power law, the alpha of zip flow is equal to 1. The difference between the two laws is that the zip flow is a physical power law relationship between x and y. But the power law is a stochastic probability distribution of only x, which is the difference between both. Power law distribution have many properties, and the highest property is the robustness of the network uh, um, against failures. Um, if uh, random vertices are dilated, uh, the network tends stay connected and the average path length continue to be small um, and the probability of delinking a herb through a vertex with a high degree k is quite small. But a power law distribution is more vulnerable to targeted attack, so uh, attack specifically oriented to remove uh, herbs. So this Vulnerability is also a positive property for negative distribution. For example, uh, in order to decrease the spread of uh, an epidemic like AIDS, uh, it is more easy by changing the behavior of a small number of highly connected individuals. So, we saw in the distribution and patterns of network that the small world uh, property um, is very useful but as a limitation as it, it produces unrealistic degree distribution. So in the real network, um, the real network are often scale-free network, inhomogeneous in degree, having hubs and scale-free degree distribution. At the opposite, the scale-free distribution has a major limitation as it fails to produce a high level of clustering seen in real network as small world. So the two models are complementary. And uh, Andrade and it's his colleagues uh, propose the Apollonian networks, which are a very useful property of networks which are, which are scale-free, uh, ultra-small networks, Euclidean matching and space filling networks.